Hello friends, Ken Berry here at LB Farms. Today I'm making a new paddock for the sheep. This is gonna be much more of a wooded, woodlot paddock. I've already got my top strand up and I use my top strand kind of as a template. Then I go along behind with my electric chainsaw that never needs gas. And I don't have to have a tool to tighten the blade. It does it automatically. So I put my first strand up and then I can go around with the chainsaw and if there's any brush or limbs or snags in the way, I can cut those out. Uh, there's quite a bit of forage in here, a lot of grapevines, a lot of young trees. There is some grass over on the far side. Here's a huge brush pile that yours truly made. That's my form of CrossFit. I don't waste money in the gym. I just come out here and drag brush and flip leaves. Today, what I wanted to show you so for the about a year now, I've been doing what I called cutting down trees, but actually what I've been doing this entire time is coppicing. So this is a sweet gum that I cut probably eight months ago. And I want you to look at this. Look how much it's grown. It's uh, six and a half feet tall now. And instead of just one big tree that doesn't really help uh, the pasture or the sheep, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stems coming up. And I want you to look, this is, this is sweet gum. That's what it looked like. And after the sheep were in here for about three days, I want you to look at this. They have smashed this sweet gum. They love the leaves of sweet gum. And so all these sweet gum and ironwood trees and sourwood trees, there's a huge sourwood right there that I thought I was cutting down, what I was actually doing was coppicing them. And so they're gonna send up all these new shoots. There's another sweet wood, a sour wood down there that's taller than me. That one's, that one's eight feet tall. And I cut it about eight or nine months ago. So I'm gonna continue to do this. And then I'm gonna let these things come back from the coppice, which is what I now know I do. I feel so important now. I was actually coppicing and didn't even know it. And so this is gonna be a, a huge source of basically free fodder for the sheep. And the tree roots obviously are going down far deeper than grass roots. And so they're gonna be pulling up vitamins and minerals, minerals mainly from deep, deep in the earth. Uh, probably, I mean, at this point, this one probably has roots six feet deep, right? And so it's pulling minerals up from the soil much deeper than grass could. And so hopefully this is going to cut down on the amount of mineral supplement that I have to use. And while the sheep are in this new paddock, I'm going to be cutting down a lot more of these trees each day. So, and there's, there's some tall sweet gums right there that I'm going to drop and let them eat the leaves. So that I, as I'm developing grass, and you can see there's virtually no grass in here. So they're going to be eating tree fodder. I'll probably just keep them in here two days. I don't want them to eat too much until they're really used to it. But um, yeah, for, for hardwood deciduous trees, when you cut them down flush with the ground, that's actually a coppice. It's actually a good thing for sheep or goats and because they love the leaves and it's wonderful nutrition that I'm learning from the book that I'm going to post a link down in the show notes. This is Ken Berry. I'll talk to you guys next time.